Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Sunday, September 24th, 2023. This puzzle has a title, it's called Rebrandings. Alright, let's get started. One across, reaction to the 1950s culture of commercial consumerism. Uh, would that be the beatniks? Hmm, or is it the counterculture? Maybe it's hippies. Hmm, what is this? Amigo. Is this just a slang term for friends? Could it be pal? Hmm. Egg prefix. Shouldn't that be ovo? Let's see if that's right. Path. Maybe that's an avenue? Hmm, maybe this is pal. What could this be? Hmm, major export of Venezuela. Oh my god, I have no idea. Locale of tiny tunnels. Hmm, I would want this to be inner ears. Although, this is locale singular. So it's a location with many tiny tunnels. You know what, maybe this is an anthill. Yeah, I like that better. One may be five to four. I don't know, a Supreme Court decision? Hmm. This could be any number of things. Lewis Braille, when he invented Braille. I assume he was probably deaf. Let's see. Uh, I don't think this is Poland. Reaction. Hmm. I wonder if this is a theme answer. A river forming the Swiss Liechtenstein border. Um, I'm not sure which river this is. Crypto unit. Would that be a coin? Um, it can't be a token. Hmm. Streaming competitor. Streaming. Maybe they're talking about cable here. Yeah, that would be a competitor to streaming. Dutch explorer Tasman, for whom an island is named. Hmm. It's not able, is it? Apt rhyme for a chew. Bless you? Bless you. That's interesting. Hmm. Oh, you know what this could be? It could be flu. Because if you have the flu, you might say a chew, yeah. Float through the air. Okay, that should be waft. Maybe this is able. What a metronome sets. That's definitely tempo. Major export. This has got to be petroleum, right? This feels like it should be pop art. So this is not deaf. Hmm. What is this going to be? Was he a teenager? And maybe this is the Rhine River. Hmm. Oh my god, it is a ruling. That's funny. Alright, let's take a look at our first long across answer. We've rebranded. Now we sell tiny tongs. This feels like it should be little. So maybe this is Ovi instead of Ovo. Hmm. Tiny tongs. This has got to be some kind of pun. Maybe it's on brand names. Hmm. Let's see if we can get the rest of this filled in. Marine creature whose name has four consecutive vowels. Um... Well, it's probably going to start with C. Is it a C eel? That's four consecutive vowels. Takes in. It's not absorbs. Hmm. We've rebranded. Now we sell Ivy. Um. Oh my god, is this Walgreens? These are punny brand names. 
this looks like a Greek letter, maybe? Hmm. Is this row? Fell. Yeah, this could be hue. You're cutting something down. Blank Cheatham and Howe. Classic fake law firm. Dewey Cheatham and Howe. <laughs> nice. Takes in. Okay, maybe this is admits, like a college. French house. Hmm. Is this the French word for house? Interesting. Drops like flies. And this is wordplay, so it's not about a bunch of people fainting or something. Hmm. Like flies. You know what would be clever for this? It would be unzips, like flies on pants. Hmm. That would fit, but that would mean both of these answers are wrong, and I don't think that's likely. Sport with clay discs. Yeah, that should be skeet, right? Skeet shooting? German U. Um, well, the formal U is Z. Okay. This is looking very, very weird. Hmm. S-M-N, that can't be right. It's not do. Hmm. What's always in poems, and this is wordplay, so it's not something that constantly shows up in poems. I think they're looking for the word for always in poet speak, and that could be air, ever. Yeah, let's see if that's right. Word with front or help. That's gotta be desk. Yeah. We are not amused. <laughs> you don't want to hear that. All vowel a vowel. Hmm. It's not we in French. Hmm. What is this? Maybe it's I. You're counting Y's a vowel. Penultimate letter in the NATO alphabet. It's got to be Yankee. Uh. Isn't this Maison? Um. Maybe this is Adopts instead. Oh my god, these shared so many letters. That was really tricky to find. And it was unzips after all. Oh my god. So this is Little Caesars? Um. This is spelled differently than the pizza chain. Walgreens. This is spelled the same. Little Caesars. Um. Hmm. It feels like something should be different here. Because this one changed spelling. And this one didn't? That's very confusing. Hmm. Maybe it works both ways? That's very weird. We've rebranded. Now we sell donuts and bagels. Okay, it seems like this should start with whole because donuts and bagels have holes. Hmm. I wonder if it's Whole Foods. That would make sense, right? Sign for a speaker to wrap things up. Hmm. I guess that could be a yawn? Yeah. Fava bean. In debt. That could be owing. Contests. Or maybe it's contests? Yeah, this could be vise as a verb. That is super tricky and ambiguous. SNL characters who coined the term parental units. Um, characters. Would that be coneheads? Yeah. Keyboard players. Keyboard. This is two different words. Hmm. That's a little weird. Starting point. Hmm. What are they talking about? First plant on earth, it's thought. Is that moss? 
I think that's a good guess. Let out. Yeah, that could be a mitt. Hmm. Is it a seed? We're talking about plants again. Oh, this is CEOs. They're key players on a corporate board. Man, that was tricky. But we did notice there was a space here, so we were on the lookout for something tricky. Some baseball stats. Yeah, that should be RBIs. 100 ore? Um, I think this might be Norwegian. I think this might be a krona. That's currency, yeah. Okay, we've rebranded. Now we run an advice column on friendship. Hmm. I have no idea about this one yet. Weak excuse. My dog ate it? Hmm. Continuously. Maybe that's on end. With 22 across, world capital selected by Queen Victoria. Hmm. So she picked this place as the world capital? Is it somewhere in the UK? Hmm. I don't know. PC to PC connection. That should be a local area network. Chill dude. Is it a cool bro? I'm not sure about bro. Singer songwriter man. Yeah, that should be Amy man. It's human, it said. To air is human. So maybe this is a cool cat? Yeah, that's much better. Hmm. Ontario? Is it somewhere in Ontario, Canada? Huh. Is it Ottawa? So maybe this is Krona with an A. Ottawa. Nice, okay. Pumpkin for one. That would be an example of a pet name, especially appropriate during this time of year. Per usual. Weak excuse. Okay, that's a cop out. We've rebranded. Okay, so is this Bud Weiser? This one's spelled differently too. Every one of these is different, except for Walgreens. That is so weird. America's Got Talent segment. Maybe that's an act, yeah. Rapper who co-starred in 1991's New Jack City. That's gotta be Ice-T. Places where dough is made from rolls. And this is wordplay, so... I don't think it's about a bakery. I wonder if they're making a joke about money. Yeah. You know what it could be? It could be craps tables. Yeah, because you're making money from rolls of the dice. That's a really clever clue. Merit. Maybe that's earn as a verb? Wow, yeah, that's tricky. All right. Kugler, who co-wrote and directed Black Panther. I want to say that's Ryan. Is that right? On Dag. Yeah, that could be next. Not strict. Yeah, that's a lax. We've rebranded. Now we write breakup letters. Hmm. Okay, it's by. That makes sense. What business ends in by? Hmm, I can't think of it. Sudden burst of speed. It's not a sprint? Cristiano Ronaldo's team abbreviated. Didn't he just join an American team somewhere? I did hear about that, but I have no idea which team it was. It probably ends in football club, though. Yule Ball? And this is wordplay, so it's not about a Christmas party. Maybe it's just about a ball on the Christmas tree, an ornament. Nice. Okay, so it's not a football club. Powerfully built. Hmm. It's not swole or beefy. Hmm. 
Dance Myself to Sleep Singer on Sesame Street. Watch the video on YouTube. Um, hmm. Is it a Muppet or was it a guest star? I'm not sure. Become Liquidy. That should be Melt. Make oneself heard in a way. I bet that's Yell. Huh. Maybe this is Burly. That's a good one. Is this Best Buy? Definitely, yeah. So maybe this is Ernie? Is he actually dancing? I love when they show the Muppet's legs. That's always special. Okay. This could be a spurt of speed. Marvelous guy. And this is wordplay. I wonder if it's about Marvel Comics. Yeah, it looks like it's about Stan Lee. Um, hmm. Yeah, I have no idea what this is. I wonder if we can get this theme answer. We've rebranded. Now we do genealogy for the US's rich and famous. Hmm. Lines, like bloodlines? Um, I wonder if this is American Airlines. Oh my god, that is super tricky. So, is this Portugal? I guess that's his national team, right? Okay. Some TSA no-nos. Um, I don't know, is it gels? If you have too much gel, I guess. Bud of Baseball. That's gotta be Bud Selig. Cuba por ejemplo. Okay, so we need the word for our island in Spanish. Isla. Troubles. That's gotta be ales. Cotton variety. Hmm. I don't know any varieties of cotton. Interesting. That would sting, an equivalent phrase. Hmm. However, that doesn't make sense. University of Maine Town. Hmm. It's a town in Maine? I don't know. Scuba Diver? Place for a feather. You could put a feather in your cap. 1300. Hmm, is this a year or an SAT score? I have no idea. Wow, that's tricky. We've rebranded. Now with 86 across, we operate a test-taking facility slash casino. Oh my goodness, this one's quite involved. Test-taking facility casino. I wonder if this is two different brands. Hmm. Lover boy. Is this Casanova? Oh. That doesn't fit. Is it just one S? Casanova? I think it might be, actually. Starbucks stack. That should be cups. Lead into space? Maybe that's aerospace. Something to pull on a highway informally. That's gotta be a UE. So, is this Procter and Gamble? <laughs> oh my god. That makes sense, right? Because a Procter oversees a test and we're gambling. Is this spelled differently? I'm not actually sure. Yeah. In the business name, this might be like an E. Hmm. Maybe this is Provo? Isn't that in Utah? 1300. Hmm. Hope not. That would stink. Yeah. Oh my god. 1 p.m. in military time. Oh my god. Okay, so this is not Provo. Product once marketed with dancing silhouettes. Hmm. Cotton. I wonder if it's Pima? I think that's a region, isn't it? 
Yeah, and this could be an iPod. There we go. So this is Orono. I wonder if we've seen this before. This sounds vaguely familiar. Whence the line, oh, how bitter a thing it is to look into happiness through another man's eyes. Um, I'm gonna guess this is Shakespeare. Maybe it's as you like it. Yeah. To have another language is to possess a second soul, Charlemagne. That's a nice quote. Fan setting, it's probably a low. Thicken as cream, that could be clot. Director Orson, that is Orson Welles. We've rebranded, now we sell only pens and pencils. So maybe this is Rite Aid? Yeah, that one's definitely changed spellings. Yikes, an equivalent phrase. That should be eek, right? Some bridge positions. Don't they use compass positions? I think it's probably West's. Nostalgic style. That's gotta be retro. What lions used to hunt. Hmm. It looks like it's gotta be stealth. Literally three teeth. Maybe that's a trident? That would make sense. In a manner of speaking. So to say, yeah. So we have a do, excitement. Insurance company with a purple heart logo. That is Etna. Not a southpaw. If you're a southpaw, that means your left hand is dominant. So this would be a righty. Eight and a half by 14. That is the legal size of paper. Early word for a baby. That's gotta be Dada. Littlest teams. I guess the smallest team you could have would be a duo, right? Okay. Destination for migrating humpback whales. Is it Maui? I didn't know they went to Maui. Multiple choice option. That should be none. So we have a rain. Farmer's hope, maybe. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. Like only some mushrooms. This has got to be edible, right? Yeah, there's definitely poisonous mushrooms out there. Kind of card. I guess this could be a debit card. The 60s EG. I guess that would be an example of an era, just like the 50s. Rant. That's got to be a tirade. Puts down. Could this be a bases? Yeah, you're kind of degrading someone. We've rebranded. Now we produce a Beauty and the Beast themed podcast. Uh, does it start with talk? 12 ounces often for a drink. Yeah, I guess that could be the small size. Whiskey business, and this is wordplay, so it's not a risky business. I think you would use a whisk in baking, right? Whiskey business. Yeah, it would be a bakery. Okay. Org at the front of a phone book. That's gotta be AAA. Language in which hello is whatever this is. It looks like it's gotta be Lao, yeah. Beauty and the Beast, talk of something? Online business, I guess that's e-tail. What C or D might indicate. Hmm, this could be grades. It could be musical notes too. Hmm, dreaded words to a bluffer. That would be I call, right? Draw. Are we talking about poker again? Hmm. I guess this could be a tie, right? I don't know. Hospital section. It's probably the ICU. Draw. This could be a lure, right? You're drawing someone towards you. Bygone autocrat. That's probably the czar. This could be a CZ also. 
Hmm. Is it an aisle? Oh, on an airplane. Yeah, it could be an aisle seat. That's very tricky. Isn't steady. Is it trembles? Hmm. Short Instagram video. I don't use Instagram. I don't know what they would call this. Is it a reel? See the sights, and this is wordplay. So it's not about being a tourist. Is it about web surfing and seeing websites? Hmm. Is revolting. Is that riots? That's funny. Yeah, an equivalent phrase. Is it? Is that what it is? Certain employee of a game company or perfumery. Yeah, that should be a tester, right? So maybe it is, is it? Desert island? More wordplay. It's not about a desert island. Desert island. Maybe it's a country that's mostly desert that starts with I? Hmm, yeah, maybe. Informal shirt, that's a T. Camera type for short should be an SLR. So maybe this is Israel. Yeah. See the sights. Hmm, I'm still not sure about this one. Talk o bell. Taco Bell. <laughs> this is definitely the craziest one so far. Um, yeah, maybe this is Browse. It is about web surfing. I do think this has to be real. And this could be Teeters. Let's see what our last theme answer is. We've rebranded. Now we sell candy to diplomats. Hmm, well it does end in sweets. I guess it's got to be Embassy Sweets, right? Okay, yeah, they've definitely changed the spelling of sweets. Took the bench. That should be sat. Blank Berg. Baseball player turned spy. I definitely have not heard of this person. I would guess it's Mel. Give, but not as a gift. That's got to be Lend. Beats me, an equivalent phrase. That's no idea. Execrate. That's another word for really hating something. So this'll be detest. So I guess this is Mo Berg. Baseball player turned spy. Hopefully we'll get some information on this fascinating story. All right, well, let's throw this E in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, to Sunday puzzle in 32 minutes. So we've got respellings of famous brand names as our theme today. And I did think about this one a little bit more, this one that was not like the others. And I think it must be that Walgreens is spelled with just one L. So this is a respelling just like all the other ones. Yeah, we had Little Caesars, Budweiser, Walgreens, Whole Foods, American Airlines, Procter and Gamble, Taco Bell, that's definitely the craziest one, Rite Aid, and Embassy Swedes. Yeah, this was quite the wacky Sunday theme. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed rebranding with me on this Sunday solve. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the easiest puzzle of the week the Monday, and I think that's gonna do it for now. Alright, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.